Hi everybody and welcome, this is The Apostate Prophet. As you know, I have reached 100,000 subscribers very long ago. I have 205,000 subscribers now, thank you by the way. And after 100,000 subscribers, YouTubers are supposed to receive a YouTube silver play button. And today, I finally want to present my YouTube silver play button. Bam. Funnily enough, I remember receiving messages by people telling me, hey, enjoy your play button, by the way. And I always thought, what play button? I never received a play button. But <laughs> as if I care. Okay, I only say that. I actually do care. It hurts, man. Where's my play button, YouTube? Where's my fu- What is very funny is that I am an ex-Muslim YouTuber who creates content about criticizing Islam and questioning Islam. That's all I do. There are other YouTubers who do the same thing that I do, just they do it for Christianity. When I look at their YouTube channels, they all seem to have received their YouTube play buttons and their verification check marks, which I also didn't receive. It almost looks like we can do the exact same thing, but they do it about Christianity, I do it about Islam, and they are immediately recognized and monetized and supported, and I am not. I found that very shady. So eventually, after 100,000 more subscribers, I decided to contact YouTube. Their help page says that if I didn't receive any message or any play button within three weeks after I surpass 100,000 subscribers, I should contact them. So I did. Someone from YouTube's support team said they would forward this and get back to me within a few days. I then got a response. Hi there, hope this email finds you well. We have reviewed your channel and it looks like it doesn't currently meet our creator awards criteria. Creator awards are given at YouTube's discretion and only to creators that follow the rules. This includes following copyright and other laws, our community guidelines and our terms of service. To make sure your account is in good standing to receive a creator award, double check that your YouTube account is active. For example, not pending, suspended or inactive. Make sure you've resolved any community guidelines or copyright strikes. I don't have any strikes. Check that you're meeting YouTube's terms of service. I do, which is my channel is active and running. Review your channel against the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Okay, I'll get to this in a second. Ensure that your subscriber count is legitimate. If you believe your channel is in good standing and should be eligible for an award, please let us know and we'll be happy to help with another review which is a lie, spoiler alert. Let me know if you have other questions. I meet all the criteria that is listed here, except there is one issue, which is review your channel against the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Many of my videos are demonetized by default without any reason. And even when I submit them for review, and even if they have completely innocent subjects, they are manually reviewed and confirmed to be ineligible for monetization. For example, this video came back saying that a human reviewer found that your video is suitable for limited ads, which means no monetization. And that is for hateful content, content likely to offend a marginalized individual or group, a marginalized individual or group. To be more specific, hate or discrimination toward a protected group based on race, age or other natural characteristics. Funnily enough, there is no place where I can actually appeal this decision. No place where I can forward this to someone and say, hey, this is wrong. You have made a wrong decision. YouTube just decides that a video that I made is offensive and that I cannot get any money for that. Although in the video, I talk about how Islam as a religion, as a doctrine, is fundamentally against homosexuality and that it discriminates against women, which is why it's bad because you should not discriminate against women and you should not execute homosexuals. So there is nothing in what I'm saying which incites hate or discrimination toward a group, but rather incites criticism against a religion in order to protect groups of people for their natural characteristics. Since YouTube is incompetent enough not to give me the option to appeal here, I just thought, okay, maybe this is the right opportunity to bring this up. So I said, hi, I don't understand the issue. According to the listed criteria, my channel is eligible. If my channel doesn't meet one of the listed points, I would like to know how. My videos are occasionally demonetized on the grounds that they went against YouTube's ad-friendly content guidelines about hateful content. Yet all I do is be critical of my own former religion and its practices and beliefs for the purposes of social progress in my own culture, whereas the category is about promoting violence and hate against people. I think this is a common misunderstanding. Can this please be reviewed again? Best regards, Ridvan. 
I then received a response saying, thanks for getting back to us. I understand that this may raise some frustrations on your end, and I'd love to help you on this one. With regard to your video monetization issue, you can request for a manual review once you see that it has a yellow dollar icon. Yeah, guess what? I did that, and you sent me your feedback, to which I couldn't ask any further questions. Please check this article about that one. With regard to your creator award request, I will go ahead and request for a Reeve review. I do not have assurance about the results of this one, but I hope the best for you. I'll get back to you about this once I have additional information to share. And then the result came. Hi Ridvan, I hope you're doing great. Our internal team has already responded on the re-review request. Unfortunately, our internal team has rejected the re-review. Please keep in mind that creator awards are given at YouTube's discretion. You already told me that. And we are unfortunately unable to assist further in this matter. Let me know if you have other questions. I'm here to help. Wow, this basically means uh, we're done here. Please let me know if you have any other questions, for which I will most likely not be of any help. You know, this enraged me. I thought, what the hell, man? YouTube is one of those big platforms that always pushes for social progress in the West, that pushes for diversity and inclusion and gender equality and LGBT rights and recognition and all that stuff against traditionalism in the West, against conservatism, against reactionarism, against social authoritarianism. YouTube is supposed to stand with me on this one because I am advocating against oppression for social progress in the Islamic world, in Islamic environments, against very terrible indoctrinations of hating and discriminating against and killing people based on their beliefs and choices? Or does YouTube only support social progress in the West and not in the Muslim world, for example? Does that mean YouTube has a white-oriented, Western-oriented, white-privileged, white supremacist point of view, in which I am not supported if I go against my norms in my own culture because I'm not white? Let's go back to why YouTube demonetized my videos. Because it could offend marginalized groups. Excuse me, who the hell is marginalized here? Are we talking about Muslims? Because if we're talking about Muslims, then I want to remember that YouTube claims to be an international platform, which wants to equally represent people all around the world, like in America, or Europe, or South Korea, or Japan, or Africa, or the Middle East. Is YouTube trying to say that Muslims are marginalized in the world? <laughs> First off, I want to reiterate that my content doesn't in any way incite hate or violence against a group of people, against Muslims, but rather is about the criticism of a certain religion. But most importantly, Islam is the ruling power, the supremacist power, in a very, very large part of the world. There is no other religion that is more powerful in a specific part of the world than Islam. No other religious group is equal to Muslims in that part of the world. Everyone has to abide by the Islamic standards, Islamic restrictions, Islamic expectations in that part of the world. Muslims are not marginalized anywhere. It seems like YouTube has a Western perspective in which they think Muslims are marginalized because some people are Islamophobic or because there has been a travel ban. Whereas I am most likely not marginalized as an apostate, as an ex-Muslim, because, well, there are a dozen countries in which it is the law for me as an apostate to be killed and numerous more countries in which I am not allowed to exist, in which I would be imprisoned. YouTube supports everyone who works for progressivism in the West, while YouTube would never support anyone who works toward social progress in other cultures, like Islam. YouTube supports the norm that is in place, in power, that also executes homosexuals, executes blasphemers, executes apostates, and oppresses women, which could mean YouTube supports those things indirectly. Don't get me wrong, this is not about the YouTube play button. Although I would appreciate having that because it marks that you did something, I don't care that much about having a play button. This is about what the play button represents, which is what YouTube approves of and supports, or at least recognizes, and what YouTube clearly doesn't support, clearly doesn't recognize. Let's be clear, in my past, during my activism here on YouTube, I have supported and voiced these views. 
People shouldn't be killed for their beliefs. People shouldn't be killed for their life choices. People shouldn't be killed for their opinions. Everyone is free to believe in whatever they believe. No group of people is evil. Hate and violence is no solution and only brings more hate and violence. Women must be equal to men for a society to be complete and to thrive. People should question everything and think for themselves. Humanity should focus on progress and is capable of doing so. Freedom is great. Love is great. These are all things that YouTube would definitely agree with. But of course, there is one more thing. Islam is a terrible religion and needs to be criticized because it oppresses people, including forbidding and imprisoning or punishing with death, people who leave Islam, who are gay, who commit adultery, and so on. This is what YouTube simply finds too controversial. But make no mistake, if we changed this whole sentence and replaced Islam with Christianity, this channel would get a verification check mark and a YouTube silver play button, and most of my YouTube videos would be monetized. The only reason this is not the case is that this says Islam and not Christianity. That is all I want to say to the hypocrites who try to be our masters. And to think making colorful songs against bigotry and mobbing and abusive language is activism. And making educational videos and activism against actual oppression, actual atrocities, is not activism. I will be back with much more. Have a great day. And if you don't want to be killed for no longer believing in a religion, and then be rejected by supposedly liberal Western corporations for having an objection to that, then please stay away from Islam.